The DRDO has successfully tested its 6 km range UAV launched precision guided munition V2. Delhi based Zoid Tech developed cutting edge AI based foreign object debris detection system has successfully cleared the single stage composite trials and earned acceptance for induction by the Indian Navy. The chairman of the Adani Group Gautam Adani has laid the foundation stone for Adani Defense's large caliber ammunition complex at Kanpur. The DRDO has successfully conducted high-altitude trials of the indigenous onboard oxygen generating system based integrated life support system for Tejas aircraft. The Aeronautical Development Agency has officially begun the development of two types of external fuel tanks for the Tejas Mark II. Between 2014 and 2024, China bolstered its fleet by adding 435 new fighter jets, while Pakistan expanded its own by 31 new aircraft, while Indian Air Force's fleet shrank by 151 aircraft over the same period. The RDO's Defense Research and Development Laboratory is harnessing artificial intelligence to streamline missile production, that accelerates development, and also ensures that missiles remain upgradable to meet evolving demands. The sixth edition of the India-Japan Hermi Guardian Joint Army exercise is currently in full swing at the East Fuji Training Area in Japan. Indian Air Force will participate in the Greek Air Forces in Oko's 2025 exercise with its Su-30 fighter jets from 24th March. The High-Level Defence Ministry Committee has accepted the need for getting new multi-role fighter jets for the Indian Air Force. To meet its requirements for preparing for the next generation of conflicts. Interestingly, if the Indian Air Force follows a tender process to acquire the new aircraft, apart from the French Rafale and Swedish Gripen, fifth-generation fighters like F-35A and Su-57 are also likely to be involved in the process. Amid the delay in delivering the final two squadrons of the S-400 air defense system to the Indian Air Force, Russia has now offered India the transfer of technology for the S-400 system to India, allowing local production of key system components for replenishment and inventory expansion. If the offer materializes, India could establish a domestic production line for the S-400 system, that will ensure a steady supply of critical missile components. The DRDO has proposed a self-propelled air defense gun missile system based on the Zora War Light tank platform. If accepted by the Army, it could see the rollout of a prototype by mid-2026. It will integrate a twin 30mm gun configuration with the very short-range air defense system and a man-portable air defense missile, creating a hybrid platform capable of engaging a wide spectrum of aerial targets like drones, helicopters and low-flying aircraft. The Indian Navy has already selected the new space research and technologies developed Abhima new jet-powered loyal wingman, that will be capable for takeoff and landing from Indian aircraft carriers. It has a top speed of 550 km per hour, and can achieve a range of 1000 km and operate at altitudes of 20,000 feet, and its speed range and payload capacity will be enhanced over time, including air-to-air -air capabilities, that will see the drone armed with missiles to engage enemy aircraft. Today's top 3 comments.